Hey everyone, Bob here, KD4BMG. When I first got into ham radio, I was primarily interested in emergency preparedness communication. I live in Tampa Bay, Florida, where annually we're subjected to numerous hurricane warnings and severe weather conditions. So I always want to be prepared for communication in the event of a catastrophic loss of infrastructure. Or the way the world is today, maybe we all need to be prepared like this. Since I'm interested in quick grab and go, I'm always looking for lightweight, small form factor, but yet effective. I think I may have stumbled into an HF antenna that fits this perfectly. The smallest gear I may have come across yet. It's a vertical antenna, not a wire. I know a wire can be smaller to throw into the go bag, but assuming I have nothing to attach a wire to post catastrophic event, I want to be able to go vertical right out of the go bag. And here it is, the Gable Radio GRA-7350T. I don't have big hands. You can see compared to my two hands, this is small gear. It claims to be able to operate 40 meters through 10 meters and also on six meters. I know what some of you are thinking. That looks an awful lot like a rebranded Comet Toy Box antenna. And people are bipolar about these Comet antennas, aren't they? But before you go clicking off the video, let me explain a little bit here. We do indeed have a loading coil that gets us on to 40 meters, which is, you know, very much toy box-ish. So we could expect perhaps a compromised performance there. We'll find out. We're going to get this thing on 40 meters, or at least attempt to. And then we have a really small telescoping mass. This thing is just under 10 inches collapsed. It expands to 7 feet and 2 inches. So it's not as long as we might want it to be because we know that height is might. And if we can get this thing up to like uh, MFJ 1979 length or Chameleon Antenna's SS17 length, we're, we're about resonant on 20 meters. We're not going to get there with this. But I use a very similar um, compromised antenna frequently with my Wolf River coil. And this is still rather small. This is about 17 inches long. I use this with my Wolf River coil all the time. If I have to swap out that small telescoping mast for perhaps this uh, collapsible mast and still have an effective antenna, I I'm highly interested in this still, but this is a fallback position. I already know this works really well. I wanna see how well this works. The differentiator for this gable antenna compared to say a toy box is how that base operates. Let me try to illustrate. We would be hard pressed to find many people watching this video today who really don't like the Wolf River coil. This is a very popular antenna. It's basic, but gosh, it's effective and it's resonant. And we all know what to do with these, those of us who've used them. If we wanna change frequencies and be resonant, we simply move the collar. And by moving the collar, we're lengthening or shortening our antenna. We're all good with that. We like this. I like this. This is my go-to antenna when I take my small go bag out into the field. There's an alternative to this. I've owned the super antenna. I've not done any reviews on it. I will in the future. This antenna has a very similar concept to the Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet. I have the Silver Bullet Mini in that it just expands and contracts. I'm doing the same thing with this antenna as I was doing with my Wolf River coil. As a matter of fact, if you pull this all the way out and you look inside, there's a collar right here that engages the wire depending on how far in you push this. And that is what lengthens or shortens this antenna with this coil. So what is it about this gable that makes me want to compare it to the Wolf River coil or to the super antenna? It's this right here. There is a polycarbonate nut here on the bottom. If you loosen it, all of a sudden, look at that. It is this activity that takes you from 10 meters through 20 meters. And as a matter of fact, this part of the antenna, I believe, is what's supposed to make you be able to operate on six meters. So six meters and then 10 through 20 is right here with the addition of that collapsible mast. And it's not until you get after 20 meters, below 20 meters, that you need to put that loading coil on there that we all expect to be a little bit inefficient, don't we? Right? We'll find out. But the way this thing operates, I'm not seeing toy box. 
I'm seeing a variation to the Wolf River coil. So now all of a sudden, I'm intrigued. I'm not 100% certain what's happening here. I've chosen not to take this apart yet because I wanna operate with it and I don't wanna mess it up. I could probably get it back together again perfectly, but let's do that after right, we test this thing out. But I have a hunch what's happening is at the top of this steel rod is possibly uh, another collar that's engaging a coil on the inside of this sleeve. And that's what's lengthening and shortening our antenna. I'm not certain, we'll figure that out at some point, but that's what I believe is going on. So I think what we have here is a very small, lightweight version of the super antenna or of the Wolf River coil. We're going to take this gable antenna, set it up HOA backyard portable, and see if we can make any contacts. I'll be posting this video whether or not I'm thrilled with the initial results so you know. If I like it, then we're going to put this through the paces and compare it with other vertical antenna options I have available for my go bag. We're HOA backyard portable getting ready to set up the GRA-7350 T on 20 meters and see if we can make some contacts. We'll talk more about this in the future. This also came from Gable. It's how we're going to mount our antenna today. There are multiple mounts that I own and you own that you could use to erect the Gable GRA7350. We're going to use this today. What do you think? Does it look anything at all like the Wolf River coil? How about now? All right, maybe more like a super antenna, but the same idea as the Wolf River coil. We're going to get this telescoping mast extended. We'll get some radials on this and then tune it up for 20 meters. I'm going to try for resonance at 14285 and then we'll see if we can make some contacts. Yep, it has a pigtail right on the tripod. And it also has ring mounts for uh, banana plugs for your radials. If there's enough interest, I will do a video on this utility box. But you can see that I have all of my connections here. This is my NFED, which is my reference antenna here on feed line four. I'm gonna go on feed line three, and that's where I'm gonna put the gable antenna. And then when we're in the shack, we can switch back and forth as necessary. Although I'm gonna stay focused on feed line three, which is the gable antenna. And I set this up specifically, so anytime I wanted to operate backyard portable, it was as simple as adding a feed line and running it into the yard. I wanted to run into the yard for an extended period of time. All I have to do is put my feed line in the little clip and I am back in business weather tight. I've been doing some work on trying to make radials easier and I have the start of it right here, but I'm gonna make a field modification here live today. What I have right now is 33 feet of wire going into a banana plug, and I've got three of them. And uh, of course, that's what I chose because that's what Wolf River Coils, you know, uh, sends with their antenna systems. So that should make us resonant quarter wave uh, vertical on, what, 40 meters? And then it always works for me on 20 meters. I just go ahead and extend all 33 feet. But there's a lot of talk right now about uh, using shorter radials. Obviously I could use 16 and change to get resonant on 20 meters. But we're just gonna make a modification to these 33 feet long radials today. What's that? Uh, what am I doing? I'm cutting my radials in half. I'm going from 33 feet to 16 and a half. Isn't that all the rage? Isn't that what you're doing? It's what I'm doing. Again, we'll talk more about that in the future. All that hard work. And now I have 16 and a half foot radials 
two sets of them, three each. What I have between the actual antenna element and the tripod are three ring terminals that will accept my banana plug. So here is how easy it is to get our radials set up. And this is one of the reasons why I'm going to be going to a strictly banana plug radial system. Uh, and I'm going to convert all of my portable antennas to this. I'll show you that in the future. Now let's get our radial spread out and get a reading on our SWR. Now to do our coil adjustments. There's a polymer screw on the bottom side of this. Just loosen that. And then you lift up and down. Tighten it. Go back and check your meter and see how you're doing. Be right back. How about now? It's at one. Yep. So I have moved the antenna up probably close to two and a half and three inches. I have now screwed it in place. I uh, wasn't quite getting to the SWR that I wanted, so I popped off one of the sets of three. I now have one set of three radials going 16 and a half feet out. I've gotten as low as one. Right now, I think we're at 1.07. I'll snap a picture of that, show you. We'll get in the shack and see if we can make contacts. We'll see you next time, Bill. Bye-bye. Thank you. Any more? Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. Jan, as the name here is Bob, you're 5'9 into Tampa, Florida. Hi, thank you, Bob. Thanks for the cute South Bass Fishers. 73, friend. Thank you, Eddie Moore. Whiskey Radio, 4 November. <laughs> okay, we'll take that on the gable. Uh, let's just switch from the gable over to NFED. And uh, the 73 foot NFED is my reference antenna. So right now we're on the gable. Okay. Now we're on the end fed. Okay, uh, yeah, very, very nice. I think the band's coming up, to be honest. I think uh, the band's getting a little bit better. 7 3, have a good day, man. Double A 3 DF. Yes, I think uh, it's a little bit better. Left, uh, Back to the gable. No <laughs> difference. Thank you. <laughs> Any more, sugar? 5 1 David X ray. All right, we're operating on a nine foot vertical antenna that collapses down to next to nothing and i'm just comparing it now to my 73 foot end fit i'm happy with this so far oh hope you do good to see you uh let me clear whiskey too charlie charlie x great friend of the net dick have a great weekend thanks for being there clear with whiskey too charlie charlie x -ray. this is kilo bravo zero here here any other check-in kilo delta four bravo mike golf Several stations. We have a Kilo Delta 4 standby. I have you. The Kilo Oscar 4. You two standby. I have you as well. Who else? Who's the other week station? That's my NFED right now. Uh, week station. I'm not hearing you. Uh, That's the Kilo Gable. Delta 4. Give me your full call. Kilo Delta 4 Bravo Mike Golf. No traffic for the net today, just uh, checking out a new antenna setup. Over. Okay, Bob, yeah, I'm going to point it your way, your S7, S8, Frederick, for a good signal. How are you doing? When we laid the antenna out on the workspace earlier today, I stated my goal was just to get a couple of contacts, set it up HOA Backyard Portable, and see if this thing is worthy of more investigation. And it absolutely is. I was able to scrounge up a few contacts. I've let you see them. And what I've noticed is that there's no perceptible difference to me between this nine foot vertical gable, which shrinks down into miniature size, or my 73 foot end fed. So test one, it's a pass. It's worthy of more investigation. And that's what we're going to do in the coming days, friend. Talk to you soon. 73.